Hi, this is Kez from Planet Starter. A question that we get from time to time is, can I take my spotlight block and or my featured block and can I have them appear next to my sidebar in this area instead of above it? Uh, now there's two different answers to this question. So the first one is technically no, you can't. Uh, the reason that I say this is the way that Theme Starter works is each of your eight blocks in the layout form a self-contained row. Now each one of those rows can be changed in its block stack position, but you can't take a block and put it inside another block. So I can't take the, the spotlight block and stick it inside here because the each of the eight blocks will always be separate from one another. So that's the technically speaking answer. But if you really look at the question, what you're really asking is not so much, can I put this row inside this row? What you're really asking is, can I have a slider in the top of my posts area? And can I have some featured content underneath that? Because if you are displaying the content that you want to have show off, that you want to have uh, appear rather, then it doesn't really matter to you at the end of the day whether it's via your spotlight block, your featured strip block or, or any other method. So what we're going to look at today is how to use some of the extra plugins that we provide to format the content that you have appear in this part of the content area next to the sidebar to simulate the kind of effect that you get from the spotlight. So we're going to look at placing uh, some spotlight content here and then placing some further arranged content underneath that spotlight. Now the way we're going to do this is through a just a single WordPress page. So you have uh, so much layout that you can create from your theme but then you can take your layout even further through some of the plugins that we provide and continue to further enhance the layout inside your actual posts and pages. So best way is always to demonstrate so I'm just going to jump into a page that I've already started creating for you. So you can see here we've got the sidebar, the usual sidebar and then here we have some content. Now this is the kind of content that in some layouts you might put inside a slider. So the, I mean sorry, inside a spotlight. The, the purpose of the spotlight in the default layout is to give you an area that you can literally cast a spotlight on, or figuratively rather. Um, whatever you put in the spotlight area is generally speaking the thing that you want to draw the most attention to. So you can achieve the same thing through a page. Now what I have here is a video and an opt-in form. And the way that I have entered this is using the Easy Opt Inserter plugin. So I have my opt-in form code here, which I've gotten from Aweber. So just to show you, that's this little JavaScript snippet here. I've just copied this and pasted it in the Easy Opt-in form box. And then I have inserted my Easy Opt-in shortcode. And I also have some YouTube video embed code, which I've put in the with Easy Opt-in box and I've inserted my with easy opt-in shortcode button, uh, shortcode rather. So I've also set the with easy opt-in shortcode to align to the left and the opt-in form to align to the right. And I have put a little content that's going to show up above the form. I'm not going to go into too many details of using each specific plugin because uh, everything is covered in the existing tutorials. This is just going to show you some examples of how you can make it all come together. So. This sets the video to appear on the left. This sets the opt-in form and this content to appear on the right. And that's what you'll get when you publish your page. So this gives you the effect of using a spotlight area and still having your sidebar down the left side. So you don't necessarily have to have the actual spotlight block showing to have the same sort of content layout and the same sort of content effect. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to show you 
is how to take it a little further again and start creating the kind of layout that you might have through say a featured strip. So you might have your single column layout as you might if you had set your featured strip to have just one column of posts or you might have multiple columns. So this first part is very easy. All we've done is under the easy opt-in set of short codes we've just placed a horizontal rule. If you use the TinyMCE advanced plugin it will give you the option to add uh, horizontal rules into your content so if you want to put any lines anywhere you can very easily and then I've just added another couple of paragraphs of text and then the next thing that we've done is we've added two columns of extra featured content and this is again this is what you might do in the featured strip if you had two columns of posts showing and again you don't necessarily have to use the featured block the featured strip block specifically you can still create this type of layout directly inside your pages and this has been done with the column starter plugin so we've just used the the appropriate short codes we've created a row using the starter row short code and then we've created two columns so all we've done is we've started a column set its width to be 50% and set its border width to be 1 pixel. So that has set each of these rows, I mean sorry, each of these columns up to be 50% of the width of this whole area and given them each a border. And you can then put any content that you want in between the short codes. So then that has that has uh, simulated what you what you might be actually looking to do when you are wondering about the possibility of putting the spotlight inside the content area or putting a spotlight next to the sidebar. So just to just to say again the the thing that really matters is how your content ends up showing. And just lastly, you might be wondering, well, what if I want my spotlight content to slide? Well, that is where the slider starter plugin comes into into effect. So we created the slider starter plugin so that you could use sliders anywhere in your theme so in any post or any page so you're then not just restricted to having slides in the spotlight area alone so you can see here we've got a second slide going on so again this is really easy I already had my easy opt-in code easy opt-in short codes in here and then all I've done is I've just to start with I've wrapped this content in the starter slider shortcodes again please refer to the tutorials for each of these plugins to get uh, more more detail on how to use them so then that converts this whole section of content into a slider I've then used the starter slide shortcode to say I want everything in between this opening starter slide shortcode and this closing one to be a slide in this slider. So that placing these shortcodes around what we already did in the the first example that I showed you converts all of this into a slide. And then I've just done the same thing again but with some different content. So I've got the opening starter slide shortcode and the closing starter slide shortcode and everything in between those two becomes a slide. Now you can do this as many times as you like and you can put anything that you choose in between these short codes and it will turn into a slide. Uh, just one quick note, if you are going to be using a form here, an Aweber form, and you are going to be putting it inside a slider, you'll need the raw HTML code to be pasted in here rather than the JavaScript. And that can be gotten if you're using Aweber by clicking the raw HTML version and just copying and pasting all this code in instead of the little JavaScript snippet. So just grab all of that and paste it into the opt-in form code field. So then this gives you your slider just like you're used to with your spotlight block gives you your featured strip area 
and the ability to continue breaking down each page and each post into as many rows and columns as you like, even within each block that's available through Theme Starter. Thanks.